Classic Series Action Figure Review. In today's review I am looking at the latest Classic Series exclusive, which is Perry and Sill from the 80s, the Sixth Doctor era. Now this set is a monumental set for the fact that it includes the first Classic Series companion, Perry, and it includes the first 80s monster that isn't a Dalek or a Cyberman, which is Sill over here. So uh, I'm going to start off the review by looking at Perry. Let's see if I just remove Sill for a second. So Perry is based on her appearance as seen in Vengeance on Varos. And all in all, I think is a pretty good figure. It's not a bad likeness of Nicola Bryant. Um, I wouldn't say it was spot on, but I mean, you can tell who it's meant to be. The articulation on this figure is the usual. It's 360 at the neck, at the shoulders, at the biceps, articulation at the elbows, although some of the elbow articulation's a bit stiff. And at times, it does feel like these thin bits of plastic, because she's only got little arms, is going to snap. Uh, she can do 360 degree turns at her forearms. Uh, her waist can do a 360. Her hips can go uh, forwards and out to the sides. She has 360 degree turns at the thigh as well, and she has articulation at the knee. So, pretty much your standard articulation on this figure. So, as I've already pointed out, the likeness of Perry is not bad, it's not uh, fantastic, but uh, it's clear who it's meant to be. The sculpting detail also reveals uh, that if you look carefully at Perry's hair, there's a line going across here which is for a headband. Now, Perry doesn't wear a headband in this story, in Vengeance on Varos, but she does in Attack of the Cybermen. Also in Attack of the Cybermen, she wears the exact same outfit in pink. So that's a clear indication that we're going to be seeing this figure again in the pink outfit she wore in Attack of the Cybermen. There's a few rumours going around that she's either going to come out with the Black Cyber Scout from the earlier Colin Baker set that came out uh, a couple of months ago, or hopefully with a Cyber Controller, uh, which is what I'm really hoping for, or perhaps even a Cyber Leader, but the Cyber Controller would be better. Uh, the detail is really nice on this figure. You've got all the good creases of her, of her top and in her shorts and things, even the little key ring that she has attached to her belt. A few people have um, had a bit of a... have shown a bit of concern with the articulation being quite visible on this figure, sort of in her legs and on her arms. To be honest, that isn't something that really... Uh, that I really worry about because at the end of the day it's the same on, other, on every figure but I suppose I can see what they mean that it does show up a bit more when the legs are so thin and it's a flesh based colour but in all honesty it's not something that I really am fussed about and she has her red shoes with the sort of dark tan soles and heels so all in all it's a very good figure, and it's a nice start, hopefully, to a, a selection of classic series companions. Um, people have said, kind of an odd choice to start off with. I'm not 100% sure if this is true or not, but I believe that Alice de Duar, who is the head of the Doctor Who range, I believe that Perry may be his favourite companion. And so that could be an indication as why she got the first release. Um, but people have sort of said, well, surely you would want to release someone like Sarah Jane or Joe Grant, someone that is more well known. But I suppose they sort of thought, well, 
Joe and Sarah are probably bound to sell anyway. Perhaps the best way to test the waters is with a, a lesser known companion to see that if they end up doing companions like, I don't know, Turlo or uh, Ian and Barbara, uh, people from the, mainly characters from the black and white era that younger fans may not necessarily know, uh, and mainstream uh, people probably won't necessarily know. So, it's, um, I suppose it is quite a clever way of being able to do that, and of course, using this outfit, which they can repaint to release again, is a good way of, uh, of using the uh, existing sculpt to make more money. So, really, it was a, a clever idea by Character Options. Um, so, uh, a nice start to the classic companions, and it's really cool that we actually have a complete TARDIS team from the 1980s. And uh, I suppose many fans out there are very glad to be able to get their hands on Perry, albeit only as a 5-inch plastic figure. Uh, but there we go. So, all in all, a really nice figure of Perry there. Great way to start the classic companions. Hopefully we'll see more of those later in the next year. And of course the other figure in this set is Syl. Now Syl is a great, is an ideal monster to release really because he is so iconic from the Sixth Doctor era. Maybe not so much to a mainstream audience, but for fans, he is um, quite a notable character, being in two of his stories. So this Vengeance on Varos Sill is really cool. However, saying that, the figure, which is detachable from his seat, does not have any articulation. So if I just show you the sculpt of Sill, to begin with. Sill is basically a lump of plastic. He is um, kind of a rotocast figure. In fact, the seat itself is also seems to be like a rotocast um, piece. What I mean by that is, if you're familiar with the Masters of the Universe Classics line, some of the larger scale characters in that, such as Titus and Gygor, are rotocast figures because they're hollow and have limited articulation. Uh, this is slightly taking it a bit further because Seal is mainly a staction figure and people who are fans of the 2002 Masters of the Universe series will know that staction figures are kind of like the mini statues, no articulation. So Seal's kind of like that, but he's kind of rotocast because he is hollow. I mean, you can even sort of squeeze his tail and you can feel that there's nothing there. So, it's a bit of a shame that he doesn't have any articulation. I was hoping that you'd at least get a bit of arm movement. I think some people sort of said it would have been nice to get ball joints. That probably would have been more expensive to tool. I'd have been happy with just being able to move his arms forwards and backwards, to be honest. Uh, and it's a shame you can't turn the head as well. But I suppose when they've put all of their money into making a brand new fully articulated figure, if they were to make Sill articulated, the set would have increased quite a lot. The price of the set would have increased quite a lot, rather. Um, but this doesn't mean that Sill isn't very good, because he actually looks really, really great. I mean, the detail on this figure is really nice. Lots of nice textures and things, with the tongue sticking out. It captures the character very well. And, yeah, I mean, the detailing with all the veins and things, and the folds of the, the uh, layers of skin, it's all really nice. Even the communicator with the purple wire microphone is really nice. The translator, rather. So, overall, it's a nice addition to the line and has some nice paint applications with the darker and light browns as well. Nice addition, nevertheless. The seat is also pretty cool. I mean, the detailing on this is very nice. Again, it's hollow. 
So it's kind of like a rotorcast thing again. Lots of nice detailing with the circuitry and the keyboards uh, on the back and the sides of the chair. And like the sort of slime trail left on the seat. One thing that is a bit of a shame is that these bubbles, which when I saw the prototype I assumed was going to be sculpted, is actually just a sticker. Uh, and annoyingly, you can see the creases of where the sticker hasn't been uh, applied particularly well. Um, and even a sort of scratch down there. But it was worse than that before and I was able to smooth those out quite a bit. So it's a shame that that's just a sticker. And as you can see, they've sort of taken some artistic license with this by adding uh, more water, sort of sculpted, to give the impression that this tank is completely full, whereas the actual prop was just empty and had different electronics in it to make the bubbles move and to hook the sprays that they would use on Sill. And Sill just balances nicely on top of the seat. It would have been a bit better really if they'd have put a peg or something to actually attach Sill to it because he does slide off quite easily, he really is just balanced on top. Really Sill isn't much of a figure as more of a diorama I suppose, He's or an accessory. It looks nice on display with Perry and with Colin as well. So, all in all, you're really getting the set for Perry, but Sill is a very nice addition as well. Um, so I would recommend uh, getting this set if you're a fan of the Sixth Doctor era and if you're a fan of Vengeance on Varus or if you're a fan of Perry and her assets. If you're more of a casual collector or the, the Sixth Doctor era isn't a particular favourite of yours, I mean, Vengeance on Varos isn't a particular favourite story of mine, you could probably pass on this, especially now in the light of seeing sets like the Resurrection of the Daleks set that's coming out in the new year. However, saying that, I, I mean, if, if you want to see more classic series companions, perhaps getting this set is a good idea. Because obviously, the more people, that, the, the more cells they get for this set, would mean that we could see more classic companions down the line and probably more of your favourites like Sarah Jane Smith, Joe Grant, Jamie, Ace. Thanks for watching this review guys, this is probably my final review for 2010. I don't know if any new products will be coming out. Rumours of a Sontaran set are still hanging around out there. I was hoping that we would get that at the end of the year because I love Lynx. I always wanted a Sontaran spaceship and then the Third Doctor variation is an added bonus. So, all in all, thanks for watching, have a good Christmas, have a happy new year, and then if Lynx does indeed come out before the new year, I shall see you in that review, or if not, I shall see you in the new year with my Resurrection of the Daleks review. Yeah.